Hello, my name is Larry Burkholder, Training Manager, Digger Specialties, manufacturer of the Continuous Handrail System. This is a 1 and 3 8 diameter aluminum tube, a good heavy 140 wall tube, available in 8, 10, and 16 foot lengths. I obviously have this one cut down to a specific length. This can be installed in all types of railing systems, including wood, steel, aluminum, vinyl, and composite. It's available in 12 standard colors. You do have the ability to interconnect pieces. If you purchase eight foot lengths, don't want to handle the 16 foot lengths, this is a connector with the collar that uh, pieces can be connected together. So what I'm showing here is a typical international residential code or a typical backyard deck installation. You can terminate two ways. You can terminate with a wall return at the top, or you can use a wall mount with an end cap. Of course, some market areas, they frown upon this for uh, fire code issues because an article of clothing or a purse can hook on this and they prefer this method. Check with your local codes. Other additional hard pieces of hardware, there's the extended wall mount. This would be a scenario on a wood railing system where you have a flat top deck board, a flat uh, deck board across the top, or the Westbury aluminum railing system when you use the drink rail. We also have the ability to end going directly into a wall. And then we also have a 90 degree welded outside corner and a curved inside corner if you want your secondary handrail to go around an inside corner and the appropriate piece of hardware. So this is a very universal system. And uh, very shortly here, we're gonna set up and show you the International Builders Code scenario installation. Here we have a scenario where we're having, installing a secondary handrail system for an International Builders Code application. International Builders Code states that the graspable surface needs to extend 12 inches beyond the nose of the steps and return to the post at the top and the bottom of the railing system. One comment is whether it is an International Residential Code installation where these loops are not needed or an international builders code installation where the loops are needed that we want a wall mount at minimum every six foot. So let's go back. We start with a wall return, a loop, a wall mount, an adjustable elbow that will go from zero to 90 degrees, then an eight, 10 or 16 foot length of secondary handrail that is field cut to what's appropriate. Again, another adjustable elbow, a wall mount, a loop and a wall return. So this is a system, as I had stated earlier, works with uh, all types of railing systems, available in 12 colors, meets ADA codes, Americans with Dis Disabilities Act, and thank you for taking time to watch this video. Have a great day.